investigating something because you've got alcohol with minors. Say something, I'll hook you up and throw you in the back right now. Try me. What am I being detained for? You're being arrested. Why are they, why you're who's arresting? next? Who's next? Why you're arresting? Who's Ma next? This camera does not scare us. Who's That's next fine. to go to jail? I'm, just, I'm not trying to cause any issues. Okay, Obviously, I'm concerned. Turn around. You're under arrest. What? I'm, I I'm just said I'm not trying to cause anything. February of 2014, Marion Coplock emerged. Jace, one of the founders, wrote in part, Hello and thank you for being such an awesome family that is willing to stand up for your rights. I have been involved with standing up for my rights with a group called Oath Keepers. I am a Marine Corps veteran who took an oath to defend the Constitution against enemies, foreign and domestic, just like these police officers did. I honor my oath. It's time that so did all of them. Two months later, Jace and his wife Stacy were kidnapped by Marion County Sheriff's employees Lisa Azor, badge 5196, New Bank, badge 5715, and Leedy, badge 5507, for videotaping their aggression. Jace is said to have resisted and obstructed without violence. His wife Stacy has two such claims levied against her. Azor, who seemed so confident on scene, wrote in her report a version of events that differed significantly from that objectively captured by video. That video, which starts just before Jace was kidnapped, was captured by Stacy. And I'm part of an organization called uh, Cop Block here locally where I, I do record police encounters and very safely and, and at a distance. So I'm very aware of what I was doing. Mm -hmm. and so I told my wife, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm going to get closer. Make sure you're recording. So I get down there. I get approximately 20 feet from the property line, uh, you know, 25 feet away from the police car there. And you know, I, I observed the officer talking to this one guy with curly hair and saying, oh, yeah, you think you're funny? What, wait till I come get you, huh? Wait till I come get you. And the dude starts, like, backing up. He's like, oh, you're scared, huh? You're scared. And I'm like, thug. And the cop looks at me, shines a light on me, and I'm like, I, I'm wearing a wall on my right, so I'm on private property. And he goes, oh, yeah. And they all took off running at the same time and jumped and grabbed me up. And I, I kept my arms on my side, didn't move, didn't resist. Put my arms behind my back. I asked, what am I being detained for? She said, you're not being detained, you're being arrested. I'm recording. Uh, recording. Jason, press, what's what am going I being on? arrested for? Open house party. They, they will not give a name. They will not tell me what I'm being arrested for. Open house party. I have nothing to do with the property. Do not know who I am. Know what I am doing. Here. You need to step back from the car, ma'am. All right. I will not answer for any. I will not answer any further questions. What's going on? Yo, you have no right to decide. Step back. What step did he back. Do? Everybody, step, step back away from the car. Why are you guys? You guys need to step back. Step back. Everyone, step back. back. That includes you. Back up. Well, he didn't do anything. Bro, you think you got that back? Shut up. What's going on? Why next? Who's next? Why you arresting? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Yeah, Who's next? CJ, shut the hell up. CJ, go back. Why is this camera does detained. not scare us. Who's That's next fine. to go to jail? I'm just recording Nobody? for everyone's safety. Why are you arresting him for? What did he do? Yeah, Nobody can no answer because for. he didn't do anything, right? Thank Nobody can fucking answer him? because he didn't do anything. Thank you. Oh, keep you recording, Jason. Keep, keep, you keep, you keep, you keep, keep your face, Jason. Keep your face, Jason. If you want to keep interfering, you can go to jail for obstruction. I'm not trying to interfere. I'm just trying to record. There. I can't stand on this no. side. Why is that? Because you're obstructing my investigation. All right, I'll stand over here. That's fine. No, ma'am, you can't. He's an adult. He knows. Okay. Okay. He's an adult. He's an adult. Nobody else needs to Hey, can I get your badge number, ma'am? You need to go back on your 
Would you like to continue to interfere with the I'm, I already told you once. Well, I'm not interfering with anything. You are. No, You're taking man. our focus away Jesus. from handling the situation Ooh. at hand. That's my husband. Boys. I just I just want to get Boys. your badge Boys. numbers. Mom, what? you had the legal responsibility to give me your badge you. number. No, is that right? CJ, I want you to You're not under arrest at this point. I don't CJ, have to do you anything. Do not show All right, that's fine. Very good. Yeah, yeah. You Mom, have a good chill. night. Yep, Mom, you too. Would you like to continue? How are they going to do that to Jason? I know. Because if you want to continue, that's fine. CJ, don't. CJ, don't. You guys don't scare us if you think you do. At all. Nobody's trying to scare anyone. We want to know what's going on. Okay. You're Nobody not wants to scare. I don't have to explain anything to you. But still, it's family. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. He's a grown adult. And if you guys continue, we'll take more people to jail for obstructing. It's your choice. That don't make no sense. So you guys can casually leave, or we're going to have further issues. Um, Jason. I'm not trying to cause any issues. Okay, Obviously, I'm concerned. Turn around. You're under arrest. What? I'm, I and just said I'm not trying to cause anything. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. As wrote Amanda Bly, Jason Pomalis was arrested for attending a house party. Police wrote a false report stating Jason Pomalis told partygoers not to listen to the officers and failed to comply when the officers asked him to move away. Officers also reported that his wife, Stacy Pomalis, refused to comply when officers asked her to move away from the vehicle. As you can see in the video, that is not true. Initially, Lisa Azor was boisterous of her actions. She even made her profile picture on Facebook, the mugshot of Jason Stacy. But that didn't last long. She and her employer received so much pushback from others that she deactivated her Facebook page, and Fred Latour, one of the higher-ups within the Marion County Sheriff's Outfit, obviously feeling the pressure from all the calls and attention, referred to Azor's verbal conduct as not appropriate. I'd guess Latour would use some stronger language and express more concern if the same act, kidnapping, had occurred to someone close to him. Office. Yeah, hi, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my record, but I was hoping to speak to Fred Latour, please. One moment. Thanks. You have reached Julie Wright, Assistant to Chief Deputy Fred Latour. I am not available to take your call at this time. At the sound of the tone, please leave a message. Thank you. Hey, Ms. Wright, my name is Pete Ayer. I'm one of the many folks involved with the decentralizedcopblock.org. Uh, I'm not sure why I was directed to your voicemail. I know that you work with Mr. Latori, but I had asked to speak with him, so it looks like maybe, I guess, there's some level of bureaucracy between uh, uh, that happening. But anyway, my call is in reference to an incident that happened on April 5th in Ocala, and uh, I wanted to just share my concern about uh, the actions of at least a few of the Marion County Sheriff's employees that were on the scene that uh, night, including uh, Lisa Azura. Uh, I saw a comment by Mr. Latori that called some of her uh, verbal statements not appropriate. So my call today was to find out from Mr. Latori if he could expand upon why he deemed her actions not appropriate, what specifically he found not appropriate, and then also what actions she did that he thought were appropriate. Because what I saw, uh, she, you know, she clearly was not acting appropriately. I know if I were working with some heavy-handed people, I would at least I would speak with them. I would disassociate with them, you know. But uh, so I please I encourage you to do what what you think you should, what's in your heart. Asked what the main takeaway had from the incident was, Jace told me, had there not been witnesses and cameras, the lies in the police report would go unchecked, and there would never be justice for the wronged and innocent. The sheriff's department has tried to embarrass us and ruin our character through media interviews, but we will not be shook. Quickly, a few related links that you may want to check out if you haven't already. Coplock.org slash apps, where you can download streaming apps and other tools. Coplock.org slash film the police, where you can learn more about tactics. And Coplock.org slash cameras, which lists some electronics and accessories that you may find useful. Uh, she goes, and, and these are your keys? And my wife says, I, I don't want to answer any questions without a lawyer present. She goes, oh, guess not. Turns around and chucks them as far as she could into the yard. The wrongs Jason Stacy suffered on scene weren't caused by Lisa Azur alone. Her colleagues Newbank and Leedy failed not only to stop her tyrannical tirade, but chose to act as accomplices through their own verbal threats, attempts to physically intimidate, and actions that initiated force. In the 1,500-word overview that Jace posted about the experience, he noted that when he was brought back to the Marion County Sheriff's Office facility, an employee brought him into an area off-camera and told him, There are no cameras here, and I will break your fucking arm, before being interrupted by a colleague. 
Those wrongs were further compounded by others employed by the Marion County Justice System machine, those involved in the processing, caging, and levying of threats against Jason Stacy. Their situation was covered by photography's not a crime founder, Carlos Miller, who accurately noted they arrested Jason Pomalis for interfering, which was not captured on camera, but judging by their definition of interfering in the rest of the video, we can assume he was not. Christopher Dellingham II, a criminal and civil rights attorney, has filed motions to dismiss, which will be addressed at a future legal end date. Such incidents will continue to happen until allegiance to those corrupt institutions is withdrawn. I certainly don't have faith in a course of apparatus that seeks to inculcate our kids into a community where paramilitary policing is the norm. If you have a moment to make a call to question those who aggressed against Jace and his wife Stacy, and who will continue to wrong others if not held to task, that'd be great. The Marion Oaks District Office, where two of the three involved with the kidnapping caging of Jason Stacy work, is 352-402-6030. Or feel free to share your thoughts at the Marion County Sheriff's Outfit's Facebook page or Twitter profile, or call into one of the local radio shows when Marion County head honcho Chris Blair co-hosts. And you know what? That little shiny badge doesn't give an extra right to become a thug. The President of the United States doesn't have more authority than the Constitution. Yes. So when I see sheriff deputies out there thinking that they're above the scope of their authority and they can do whatever they want that violates rights, then yeah, I stand up to that because I will not tolerate that. I, I swore the same oath to this Constitution and I will defend it. 